Welcome back to the car cast, the rant cast, if you will. Oh man, I don't know if people have uh, been living under a rock, but yesterday was a big day for DC people. Yeah, uh, yeah it, was. it was. There was all the things dropped. Uh, just before we get into it, it is me, TS Cosplay, your host, my your uh, my co-host, Brady Moose Valdez. Hello. And uh, here a little guest who hasn't really been in a lot of stuff, Eddie back there. I'm in this. It's my... Uh first rant cast car cast eddie's first rant cast is the car cast we just went got some kung fu too this is straight off the dome uh we don't have a permanent setup right now for the proper rant cast stuff i've got all the equipment just need to set it all up but right now in the car cast whatever um so again yeah yesterday was a big day for dc people uh or dc in general we got two video game announcements oh something we forgot i forgot to have you watch was the wonder woman 1984 trailer oh. but but i'll 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 I, I think i've seen it though i'll i'll skim on that one like I'll, I'll skim over it two video game announcements if i'm not mistaken and like four movie announcements so we're gonna knock them out first we're gonna knock out talking about the suicide squad game that's coming up by rocksteady who's notorious for the arkham series and uh all we got was a little a little visual or uh, a, a CGI trailer. Teaser. Trailer. Yeah, CG, a CGI teaser. It looks interesting. Um, I don't know how it's going to play. Here's here's my thing kind of jumping from that all already to Arkham or to Gotham Knights. I keep wanting to call it Arkham Knights. Yeah. Because they call it Arkham Knight. Whatever. Um, my thing is that I really hope they're not. This isn't the new format for games where, like, with this kind of thrown in the marvel of avengers game that's coming in where they kind of play like ultimate alliance ish Mm -hmm. and it's you know four five person co-op and it's all that drip feedy goodness um where you get content by monthly or whatever but i'm excited to see how it plays if it's a single person story in each chapter you play as a different person maybe i don't know harley looks good as far as i can tell tara strong is back reprising her role um King Shark. I I don't know anything I don't know anything about him. This is the first time I've seen or heard anything about him. Captain Boomerang. He kind of looks like the uh the uh old guy from or one of the guy the one of the train conductors from the Polar Express. <laughs> he does. He, I didn't he, even think about that. He the one with the really long beard? Yeah. He kind of looks like him. <laughs> that I was That's so funny. Um but yeah, and then we got dead shot back now. Here's my thing: as an African American male, um, I wasn't happy with the recasting of Dead Shot. You know, to them making him a black dude, um, just because Will Smith. Like personally, I can't really see Will Smith as anything but Will Smith anymore. Yeah, like it's kind of like ever since the Fifth Pirates, I can't see Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. Like, there's actors out there i can't see them but who they are anymore will smith is one of those people um so i wasn't seeing floyd lawton i wasn't seeing deadshot i was seeing will smith um and so that was just a big a big thing for me um but this new he he does look really cool like he's a brother he's a brother I, I dig the hair like it was kind of motivation because now when I see video games like I see it from like a cosplayer standpoint like, where you like, like see if you could do that if you yeah. could pull it off yeah yeah like I'm like oh I could do that like I'm like low-key this might like be my first unmasked costume I don't know I don't even know if I'm gonna do any other costumes other than the list I have now because who knows when conventions are gonna be back but that's not the point the point is that And I'll just say this now. I was going to wait until we get into the more movies. But my thing is with Hollywood and the movie industry and all that stuff, um, my big thing is just I don't want them to recast or reimagine characters for video games, for, for comic book movies and stuff to be woke, to be PC, to pander to the black community. I don't want that. Just because someone's, you know, like, like they've, they've, they've recasted, um, Catwoman. She's a black woman now. She's black. And Commissioner Gordon is black. Uh, as far as like, so for me, and this might be a little, little like I'm just ignorant, 
But for me, with, when they made uh, Nick Fury black, to me personally, I was like, okay, well, it kind of makes it like me. I be, I'm able to tell the difference between Nick Fury now and the Punisher because playing Ultimate Alliance, the Punisher and Nick Fury looked exactly alike. I might be wrong on that one, but just playing it back then, I was like, oh, they Nick Fury and the Punisher, like they look like the exact same person, but the one just has an eye patch, like the Punisher put on an eye patch. Um, but I don't want them, you know, recasting all these these characters like Arrow. In Arrow, I loved Deadshot. Yeah, I, I loved him. Yeah, I love the guy who plays Deadshot. I thought he did a really good job, and I like I really got involved and like could believe that okay, this is Floyd Lawton. This is the guy that is uh, Deadshot. Mm -hmm. Like this, I could believe. Like the just the way he acted, the his the the way he carried himself, the, his. Aneurysms or whatever they are, you mannerisms. Know, mannerisms. Thank you, not aneurysms. Yeah, aneurysms. Mannerisms. Um, the way he, the way he was, just made me feel like, okay, this dude's a lethal assassin, and he's like, just everything that I imagined what Floyd Lawton would be as a character. I thought he did a really good job in the Arrow series. And and exactly, and it's just like, I don't know. A lot of people like I, I I'm not one to jump the gun and be like, oh, this person's not going to do good, or I'm going to hate on him immediately because we had a lot of that with Domino. In um in Deadpool, with her being uh being a uh, black woman, but so my thing is is are they, I want like, I want Hollywood to cast if they're a person of color I want them to cast them because of their acting ability not because of the color of their skin. Yeah. I, that to me that is racist. Like don't be giving someone a job because you want to seem PC. You want to seem this. Like it's no. It's essentially giving someone a job because of the color of their skin and it's i just freaking repeated myself but right for sure, i don't for i don't sure. want that or just change the color of someone you know the character to be black like jim gordon and everything i've seen of jim gordon he's always been a white guy yeah like ever i think it was in adam west's batman it's the only time Catwoman was a woman of color maybe i'm wrong but she's always been white like if this new uh, woman who's playing I just can't remember the names so forgive me but the the new cat woman if she does great like she does great amazing like cool um I'm not saying that she's gonna be bad I'm just saying I want them to have casted her because she did an amazing job and they like her performances and other things and not just because she's black and to give it divorce diversity that's not what I'm trying to have um like I'm just not down with that anyway with that out of the way Let's get to, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's keep talking about uh, the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. So a lot of people are freaking out because Superman's the bad guy in that game. And playing the last two Injustice games is kind of like, first time. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 valid, valid, valid. <coughs> like, Eddie's, Eddie's dying back there. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it's just like, I wonder, like, I don't, it doesn't... I don't know everything I need to know about. It. I don't know if they're going off of a comic book arc or something like that. Um, but is Superman coming after the Justice League or after the Suicide Squad because they killed the Justice League? Has he just? Is it just another injustice type of thing? Because if it is injustice, injustice Harley and all of them like not all the bad people, but Harley teamed up with Batman to fight the uh insurgency i believe i think that's what they're called insurgents or surges i can't remember. i think i remember something like that yeah yeah but so she wasn't part of the suicide squad um which everyone's having their lists of oh i wish we could have had, we could have this person for a playable character this person when it gets closer to that i think we'll sit down and we'll do a a, a guest an i you know like a, a uh a character wish list video um but for now we have Shark King or King Shark, whatever his name is. We have Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and Harley. Well, didn't he say something at the end of the video about after someone throws something at his head and he's like, I don't know if you should have done that, Shock. He was talking about Shark, the Shark. Oh, gotcha. Shark, yeah. Um, it's just the accent. Oh, okay. That, but, um, Eddie, what are, what are your thoughts on it? You haven't chimed in. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I thought... I didn't know that there was going to be a Suicide Squad game as well. I only mm. saw I only saw the trailer for the movie, mm. so I didn't know that they were two separate things. But um, thinking about it, I don't want like what you said. I don't want it to end up being like how the Marvel Avenger game is supposed to be, where it's like this co-op kind of like online 
base game. Like mm. I want, I, I would, I would like to see story. You know, maybe dip in some of the elements of injustice. Like a private campaign where you don't have right. randoms care helping you through the game. You like, don't go essen- through. Essentially, sorry to cut you off, but essentially like Destiny, where it's yeah. just a, it's a looter shooter, so you care more about the loot than you do the story. Mm-hmm. If if they do it where it's kind of like Ghost Recon Wildlands, where you have a group, but and you can play single player, and those groups become NPCs. But then if you want to have, you know, certain individuals join you, like your buddies or your friends join you, then mm-hmm. you can have up to, like, four people, we'll say, you know? Yeah. I think that would be a cool aspect of it. Yeah. I did have an interesting co- um, thought. I think it's interesting that the last, I think, and I could be wrong, but the last two DC games I've played, or the last DC game I've played and this one, both involve Brainiac. So I wonder why DC's hitting on Brainiac so much. Maybe is there a potential for... a brainiac to be in one of their future movies are they trying to build up brainiac for anything specific i just think it's interesting that they're going with brainiac twice on this one oh because of his ship in the yeah his ship in the background Mm -hmm. and um superman's eyes are purple so we already got that in injustice too maybe he's under the mind control of brainiac yeah okay and i think that's what because when he goes to do his vision before he kills the soldier his eyes are purple they're not they're not just red they're purple and I noticed that plus Brainiac ship. So I'm like, why is DC going so hard at Brainiac? Is this leading into something? Is this them hyping Brainiac up? So when they come out with a movie, is DC going toward the Brainiac mm, in a movie? I didn't, good eye. I didn't even think of that. Um, but yeah, to Eddie's point too, like it's, it's like, like with the Marvel game and I'm not trying to like in this, I'm not trying to compare anything to anybody. We'll mention com- comparisons, but for the Marvel game, as far as I've seen, you can have NPCs and play online and offline but the downside is obviously you want something to fight towards not just a story so loot will be a thing but i don't want it to the arkham or gotham knights to go the way of the marvel game where oh well you get different pieces to level yourself up but you know customization and all that stuff is just based on in an in-store thing where you have to use um real life currency we're not going to get into that right now but um, it does look sick, like the Gotham Knights, like finally a free roam game. That's it, it looks. I don't. Uh, you you didn't get to watch the uh, the before we did this. You didn't get to watch the uh, the gameplay of it, but it does look like it plays a lot. Like at least with Batgirl, it plays a lot like the Arkham games. Oh no, I did. It did the trailer I watched showed. Yeah, some yeah, gameplay. yeah. So, um, it's so sick. My favorite Robin, favorite Batboy, Red Hood, open world. Oh, that's gonna be so sick, and especially with the bikes. Yeah. The bikes um, being able to drive around with that stuff. Are you kidding me? That looks so sick. And when they say 2021, that game better come out in January. <laughs> I know, yeah. I, no, I'm I not going to lie. I like, care. Watching the trailer, I was like getting choked up for the first little part. I was like, Batman's yeah, dead? Yeah, like he's gone. Like, like I was like, no, no, there's always, always come back. Like whether it was an explosion or whatever, every movie, every game, Batman always somehow pulls through. And to know that this game, he's actually going to be dead is like, whoa, mm-hmm. like, a world without Batman's like a world without Santa Claus. Yes, I still believe, and don't tell me otherwise. Okay, <laughs> I'll kill you all. You, you remember? You remember the movie Crumpus? Yeah. yeah. You know what happens when you don't have a holiday spirit? <laughs> Never. He runs across the freaking um, runs across the rooftops to get to your house. Yeah. Chase you. Yeah. That, that's puts still, you in a snow globe. Yeah, that's still. That's I'm not being trapped in a snow globe. Okay. <laughs> or is there something you're gonna add, Eddie? Uh, the, the oh, I, I don't know. The Santa Claus bit got me. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, uh, um. Yeah, I can't remember. You lost it. I lost it, yeah. <laughs> so sorry. But, yeah, crazy stoked, crazy excited for the uh, the Gotham Knights, the Suicide Squad game. The CGI trailer looked interesting. It looked really cool. But there wasn't a game. There wasn't gameplay. There wasn't footage. gameplay. It doesn't even come out until 2022, so there's not much speculation. I mean, it could be a whole new game by the time. Exactly. The world could end by then. Exactly. With oh. the way that our world is going now, it probably is. But yeah. anyway, anyway, positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Let's move on to the movies. So the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, my thing, my my little, my little, my little ditty here is I'm not sure what time when it's set. Um, 
I'm curious as to where some of the other people from Suicide Squad went. Like, I'm sure we'll see where, you know, June Moon went. Obviously, she's not Enchantress anymore because they killed Enchantress in the first Suicide Squad movie. Diablo's dead. Um, Captain Boomerang. So, oh, so I guess, you know, did, where did Deadshot go? That's my problem I have. And Killer Croc. And Killer Croc. Like, where'd Croc go? Are they replacing him with this, the Shark King, King Shark guy? Like I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know where what they're doing with that, but it does look interesting. Before I let these boys rip free, I just want to say I'm extremely pissed that they're that DC has finally acquired Idris Elba, and uh, he's not John Stewart. And even on Twitter, he posted I think it was a couple years ago, if not that, a fan picture, a fan rendered picture of him as Green Lantern, and said he really wanted to do it. Yet they cast him as Bloodsport, making him look generic and forgettable as freaking hell. Like, sorry, let me tell you right now, Terry Crews, one of my all-time favorite black actors, could do a great Bloodsport. Should do an amazing Bloodsport. Make I just you, you have like DC. <sighs> That's my big problem with DC is they just they have so much so much good stuff at their disposal and they just waste it. Like Idris, this is the perfect time to see like re uh, regardless of your thoughts on Batfleck, like they're doing a just they're doing the Justice League right now. John Stewart is the Green Lantern for the Justice League. What why why wouldn't you have bring in the? You could have him next to Aquaman, but next to Jason Momoa, next to Ben Affleck, next to Gal Gadot. Like, what? What are you? It's just more star power there, and it's it's. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give myself a heart attack. But, <laughs> but no, I agree. It's like you're wasting the perfect talent, the perfect character. He fits the character physically, and just as as a character as a whole, uh, uh, Idris Elba with his acting career, he's an amazing actor. He's an outstanding actor, and to have him be Green Lantern and kind of resurrect Green Lantern as a character would be huge. You, exactly. We, like technology has come so far, so like the CGI would be a thousand times better that what where they needed it. And I think just Idris Elba as an actor with everything that we have put together in the mathematical equation, you have the perfect setup for success. Like it's just like everyone was saying, "Oh, we need the rock to be Black Adam." Mhm. Mm we need the rock to be Black Adam for years and years and years and years. They have the rock as Black Adam. For years everyone's been saying, "Oh my gosh, we need Idris Elba." As 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 John Stewart, I was like, okay, here's Bloodsport. Which, given the history of DC characters, he's not going to be out, be around very long. But, oh gosh. Anyway, continuing, is it? We're not going to talk about the fact that John Cena and The Rock are both in the DC. Okay, that's kind of my problem. <coughs> so, John Cena, John Cena. I've seen some of his acting in the movie The Marine, and there's been what well, there was a, a movie kind of like The Pacifier he was in. I don't even remember. Um, it was like a fire. The fire yeah, one, yeah, the fire. Like oh, and the, like recently, then yeah. there was some other ones he's been, and I've seen him in a couple of acting things. He's not he, uh, WWE, my dude, is acting. It, yeah, that's it, true. It's, that's it's, true. It's not technically acting. It's a TV show. Like Raw is has the has the accolade. Of the longest running episodic TV show in history. It is a TV show. He is acting. He is portraying a character. Yeah. Every time you see him in a wrestling ring, every time you see him in 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 in, in a promo for WWE, he is mentions. It, he is acting. He's acting. He's yes. an act he's an actor. He's an actor. My biggest thing is I don't like John Cena as an actor, just straight up and dry. I just don't think he's anything to be oh my god about, you know? And I also kind of think that Suicide Squad might be going a little overboard with the number of people they're having in it. It's a lot of people to introduce, especially since so many of them got killed off and or, or aren't apparently in this one, except Rick Flagg and Harley Quinn. And Boomerang. And Boomerang, which I'm glad they did bring Boomerang back and they kept Rick Flagg. Of course, they're going to keep Margot Robbie. Um... We were kind of talking about this earlier. She how is, she, she is, is carrying, carrying the DCEU the, on her back. She, she is. really is. Between the last two Harley Quinn films and... Um, well, she's only had one Harley Quinn movie. Oh, that's right. But the, 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 the Harley Quinn, the, the first Suicide, Suicide Squad. First Suicide Squad. And now this one. This movie, the Harley Quinn movie, 
the uh, TV the TV series that she's having. That, that, like not it's not Margot Robbie, but Harley Quinn herself. Yeah. So she is definitely, definitely caring, and she's gotten huge as a character. I mean, even back from when I was in high school, Harley Quinn was a, a thing, when but we not. We're in high school. We're yeah. old. <laughs> um, back when we were in high school, and she was a thing, but she wasn't huge like she is now. Now she has gotten huge i think twice she, she has as, a cult following yeah right? exactly and i think margot robbie's really carrying them on their back but i i'm not a, i'm not a big fan that john cena's acting in this one we'll see how it goes um i do agree with you that idris elba playing Bloodsport is kind of a waste of his talents especially with dc's given track record but and i think there's a lot of people in there and then as you know i'm not a big fan of uh shark king yeah but well and and with idris elba as as blood sport if you look at the costume it's really forgettable it's just some pl like some plated tactical gear like i don't just some armor yeah, and a skull like, mask well yeah it's like there's nothing like there's nothing memorable about it like maybe i'm jumping the gun here but sorry i i wanted idris elba to be john stewart it would have been would have been perfect but that movie i have again we didn't really get any like an actual trailer for it um it does like there's a big cast like that's my my problem too is they're wanting to treat as far as i'm seeing the suicide squad like the guardians of the galaxy and with that it's you can't go over like i can't i can't name every but every single person that we saw in that trailer maybe because i only saw it a couple times but it's like i don't remember half the names in that yeah, like, and I, like I, I said, I, I think they're just throwing too much in there at once. And so, uh, moving on to uh, the Batman. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Okay, I will say right here, I am so glad I did not jump on to the bandwagon of hating Robert Pattinson because I. Here's the thing. There's going to be people that out there who who were hating on him from the beginning. And they just don't want to admit that they love what they saw. That they that they can't swallow their pride. And be like, all right, I was wrong. There was a lot of people out there <clears throat> in the comments saying we were wrong. We we judged it too early and stuff like that and 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 whatnot. And for me, the only thing I do not like about this Batman, even though they're going off of ba uh, a Batman cowl from, so I think it's from either some art or from a different comic or whatever. I don't like the cow. I'm not, I don't like the cow. There are times where it looks good, but I'm not in love with the cow. Now, oh my gosh. Uh, it was, oh, I, you guys go. I, I'm still gathering myself. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. I mean, I was a little bit disappointed that with the last Batman that we saw that we didn't get an established sense of you know the batman and this one feels like we're gonna get more as you know as bruce wayne and as batman we're gonna because i mean the trailer i don't know if batman was shown as much as bruce wayne was if the times were shared equally or if bruce wayne was on screen more i i, I like i like development in characters and this movie feels like it's gonna have good de development for batman yeah, development and establishment. That's that's the big thing for me. With with Ben Affleck, like again, I said I didn't want to compare Batman cuz in my Joker um reaction video I did for the trailer, I said Ben Affleck's Batman is his Batman, Christian Bale's is his, you know, Joker's are there, you know, each Joker's actor. Back, like, like it so for me, but for me with Ben Affleck's Batman, and we got to bring this out now before we get dive into the Justice League stuff, which I'm sure it's going to take up the rest of this video or the rest of this rant cast, um, with Ben Affleck's Batman, no matter what your opinions are on him being Batman, they never let him spread his wings, pun intended. <laughs> like, yeah. they never gave him a fair shake. He had short appearances in movies like Batman versus Superman. We never really got like, oh, here's Batman, here's Bruce Wayne, just to deal with it. Like, not even like deal with it. Like, here he is move on like it's kind of like well more people would be inclined to like him and stuff like that if you gave him not even like an origin story or stuff like that but give him like give him build him up a little bit yeah give him a foundation give him like oh this is an older grittier batman okay well let's see who isn't 
in this universe now. Let's see who's this, who's that, who's this, who's that. Like, they just didn't establish stuff with him. With Robert Pattinson, like, you can obviously see what they're going for. Like, he obviously looks like he's gone through some trauma. Now, granted, from what we see, he's not just becoming Batman, which I'm glad because I do not want to have to see Martha and Thomas Wayne die again. <laughs> like, we all know his parents died in an alleyway. Well, that I mean... I mean, it's like I guess. I mean, I don't. Again, we don't want to compare other movies to other universes, but it's the same thing. I think the way that Spider-Man works so well is that we did not need to see Uncle Ben die. We get it. Yeah. You don't need to show his parents dying. We, everyone knows Bruce Wayne's Batman. It, exactly. No like, more origin stories. And that that was the, the thing. Like with this new Spider again with this new Spider-Man, it's like we all know, you know, and even so, in some of the uh, like in this one, we don't have an Uncle Ben yet. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. But but still, like, we know he got bit by a spider. We know this. We know how he becomes Batman and why he becomes Batman and stuff like that. So it, it, it's refreshing. But you do see in some of the pictures, he does look like he's got some mental health issues. Yeah. As, as Batman Bruce Wayne does. We yeah. never, like, the thing I did like a lot about Christian Bale's Batman is... You see the ma- the three masks he wears, or the two masks he wears. He wears the mask of Bruce Wayne in the public's eye, then he wears the mask of Batman. Then, when no one else is around, you obviously just see him with that inner conflict. It looks like this Bruce Wayne has that inner conflict all the time, like, obviously all the time, but it's not just very much inner. Like, he doesn't have his hair slicked back. He doesn't have, you know, he doesn't look all gaudy, surrounded by girls and stuff like that. He looks like a socially awkward person who just wants to be by himself and is dealing with the stuff the way he's dealing with it. Um, it looks dark, gritty, mean. Yeah, I do. Brutal, like, and, I, it, and we're getting Riddler, mm-hmm. which, from what I understand, that's who that was. Okay, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I wasn't sure who the heck that was, and I think if I went back and watched the trailer now, that would make a lot more sense. I was like, who's the bad guy? Is this supposed to be leading into the Joker? Is this supposed to be like, who is this? Is this like Taskmaster? Like, who's who's? I didn't understand the reference. Taskmaster's more of or. Oh, that's right. He is. I don't know what I'm thinking. Ignore me. <laughs> um, but it makes it makes sense now that it's Riddler. I like makes total sense now. Um, I know that a lot of people are complaining about one of the scenes where he just is laying into a guy, and I think that that fits really well with what you were describing earlier about this looks like a Batman who has been who's got some mental issues going on. What what happened to push him to this point? We don't know. And I think it's interesting. We do know what happened. His parents are dead. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, right. For sure, for sure. If that's where it's starting from. But who knows if something else died, you know, like he lost somebody else that was important to him. That was just kind of like maybe the final straw um, pushing him even further beyond to the point. But um, I also think that it's weird that some people are getting bothered by that where he's just beating the crap out of that dude. Yet you have in... Ju- the Justice League movie or the the Batman versus Superman movie where he's branding villains. He's yeah, he's branding, he's branding them. Yeah. And then as you showed me in the Injustice game, where Batman beats the living dog piss out of a guard or something. He's out of out of a, out of a thug. Yeah. Yeah, out of a thug. And and then all in all the Arkham games, you do the same thing. Well, exactly. Like you straight up V trigger someone. Like it's it's like you knock people the heck out in that game. And if you really look at it too, like. Batman, he doesn't kill. That doesn't mean he's not going to break someone's arm, break someone's jaw, break someone's... You know, like Damien said in that Injustice, he's like, so you won't kill someone, but you're okay with traumatic brain damage. <laughs> like... I mean, yeah. And so yep. and and so it's just like, yeah, like, you got to imagine, too, when he's beating up a guy like that, he's probably only seeing the guy who killed his parents. Yeah. You know, probably. something like that, like just yeah. beating the crap out of him. He's not even thinking that, hey, this guy is just some dude in makeup, you know, probably just harassing old people on the side of the street or whatever like he's you know you know that 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 he sees red and does what he does that was the best part of the trailer and um from what we see too i didn't notice but there's a bigger looking guy and that's penguin and it's colin farrell is penguin and i remember watching a video about someone um who saw some of his prosthetics and stuff and they said you're not going to recognize him i didn't recognize him colin farrell is um I'll have to watch it again and look for that. He played uh the boxing coach in the gentleman. Oh yeah, and he was also in SWAT. Okay. Um but 
Oh my gosh, it was it was crazy. It it, it was it was. It, it, it's making me excited for Batman again. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Superman versus Batman, I was I couldn't care much. Either way, the the saving grace character of that film was Wonder Woman. Well, now let's transition into the Justice League Wonder Woman stuff. So, and I'm going to try to make this quick, but the Justice League, everyone's going on about the Schneider Cut and stuff like that, or the Snyder Cut, I should say, not Schneider. Um, the problem I have with it is that you've got two different versions of the same movie. Which version is canon? Which version are they going to go with? From what I'm seeing, I guess they might be going off of the Snyder Cut, but still, right then and there, here is the problem I have with the DCEU, and I don't think I'm alone. That they try to shove so much stuff into one movie, just like Batman vs. Superman. People enjoy that movie, good for them. I didn't, for the simple fact that, A, it was Superman's second movie, and he dies. And that they did Doomsday in the second movie when Doomsday fights the entire Justice League. Sorry, the entire Justice League is not a new Flash cyborg, which cyborg at this time should technically, technically be part of the Teen Titans, but is more is more than just Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Cyborg, Aquaman, and Flash. There was a line that Batman says at the end of the Snyder Cut, and they're talking about Darkseid, because Darkseid makes an appearance in the um, the Snyder Cut, apparently. And Dar- he says, I don't care how many demons he's fought, how many whatever he's fought, he's never fought us. Us united. Or not us united. And I'm like, I'd take that more seriously if it was more than just the five of you. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's but- valid, though. Like, I mean, you talk about not trying to sit here and compare it to Marvel... But you had an entire freaking team of people that we had established their capabilities and their weaknesses. And all of them together as a team, though, were able to beat odds against Thanos finally in the end. Five people where we got minimal movies from and four, and they still don't even seem like they're a full functioning team. Like Aquaman didn't seem like he was 100% for the team yet. Flash is still young and doesn't completely understand his powers and everything yet. Gal Gadot is willing to go off on a solo mission if it meant, you know, saving the love of her life or, you know, whatever. Like, I just don't feel like we have an established, solid team who's been through enough trials and errors to really believe that whole us is united thing. And they're just, again, I just feel like they're just getting big for their britches. Like, again, in Batman versus Superman, like, the, the creation of Doomsday, like I like I understand that there's gonna be differences in from the comic books to the movies, but you when it comes to Doomsday, like you gotta you gotta be accurate. Like, sorry, if you really want to think about the first time Lex Luthor ever put his his DNA with a Kryptonian, that was in Superman four, and it created Nuclear Man, the worst mo- Superman movie ever. They got their idea from, but I just feel like. And I don't know if it's if it's Zack Snyder alone um, making the calls for, for oh, well, this is going to be in the movie, this is going to be in the movie, and this is going to be in the movie. Because, like, there just was so much shoved into that movie. And then with the Justice League 2, just watching it, I just, I didn't get the vibe that anybody cared to be there. Like, I've only seen that movie twice. And with the Snyder Cut, like, I was never one like, oh, give us the Snyder Cut, give us the Snyder Cut, give us the Snyder Cut. Because after seeing the movie, I was like, I just don't care. Like, I understand the unfortunate thing that happened with Zack Snyder, and he had to he had to pull out, and it was kind of screwed up of Joss Whedon to do what he did and completely change it. Um, but I'm like, I I don't, I can't, I I can't really care because and 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 here here here's why. From what I'm seeing, like regardless of my thoughts on Ben Affleck as Batman, and I'm not going to get into the like. The th- how I, I was talking to our buddy Forrest the other day about it, just how it seems like they have their own bat or ben, or, you know uh, Bruce Wayne, their own created Bruce Wayne, with his own motives and stuff like that. But they're putting him in, he, in different costumes that wouldn't appear until later down the line when him and Superman are both old and gray. But 
anyway, um, from what it looks like to me, from what it f seems like they're doing, is that they're having a darker version of the DCEU and then the lighter version. So the Justice League, Ben Affleck, all those people are going to be the lighter version. And we'll get movies, not necessarily an entire another universe, but like Robert Pattinson and Joaquin Phoenix Joker and movies like that, they're going to be darker and more gritty. To me, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just pay attention to the darker version, or to the darker side of stuff. But at the same time, I want to care about both. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I want to do. I don't want to dislike something. And for me, personally, it's a little bit freaking annoying that they're having two Batman. They're having two Jokers. You know, like... Yeah. I don't... Room, there was rumors that um, Ben Affleck's going to get his own Catwoman. I'm like, I don't want two Catwomen. I want one story that I can follow. Because, like, from what I've seen with uh, with Ezra Miller showing up in the uh, the Flash TV show, they're going off... They're creating a multiverse. Mm -hmm. They're creating, you know... Uh, <clears throat> or different Earths. So the uh, the CWs, it's different Earth. Titans is its different Earth. Because if you really think about it too, Titans has its own Batman. Yeah. Titans has its own Batman, its own Deathstroke. The, uh, Arrow. Um, what's his name? Stephen Amell. He or Oliver Queen. He says that you know he he mentions something about Batman. So they have their own Batman. Hmm. Robert Pattinson and Ben Affleck. There's a lot of Batmans. And then technically, technically. Joaquin Phoenix, if Robert Pattinson isn't Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, which people have said, or, or you know, all those fake news outlets and stuff want to be like, oh, it's confirmed that you know Robert Pattinson's bat or Joker is Joaquin Phoenix and stuff like that. Until if, that's basically in the it, movie, unless yeah, unless it's confirmed 100 percent by DC, um, with, at, with the end of Joker. We're, they've got that Batman. They've got that Bruce Wayne. I don't want to have to be like, oh, well, this Batman. Oh, and then Gotham. The TV show yeah, Gotham. Yeah, on I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the TV show Gotham. They have their own Batman too. They're so, and their own Joker, and it's like, yo, like what? Like, there's so much going on with DC, and if you really look at Marvel, they've made it simple, and they've stuck to their guns, and that's the problem. Another problem I have with DC is, no matter what you think of Jared Leto, I feel like they should have backtracked and made a Harley Quinn and Joker movie first because that's what everybody wanted. That's why mm. Suicide Squad got the a big reason or a big reason was Suicide Squad the first one got the 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 hate it did is cuz they were marketing it like a Harley Quinn and Joker movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um but uh but I just wish they'd stick to their guns and give longevity to stuff. Give Batman his you know, let's explore why is Robin's suit in that glass case with all the writing on it. You know, let's explore a little bit more of Superman. Let's get some good establishment. Like, Wonder Woman has done nothing wrong. <laughs> like, she... what? Just that recipe was so good for her character. Superman's recipe is good for his character. But we don't know what the freak is going on with Batman. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's branding people. He's shooting cars, exploding cars, and killing people. Like... Okay, if that's the road you want to take, fine. But why are you doing that? Why is he? Why? Doing yeah. Why? What are his motives? What are his? Why is it that way? Exactly. And it's like you can't have the the whole answer of because I'm Batman. But the Justice League, I want to care about it. Mm -hmm. I want to care about it. I want to get invested into it the way I've seen a lot of other people be invested. I just can't because there's no story to follow. Like from what we have now, Superman came out, fought Zod. Batman saw that, didn't like it, went to fight Superman. Superman said Martha. They st they stopped fighting to fight Doomsday that Lex Luthor created because reasons. He didn't have a reason to hate Superman yet. And then Superman dies. Doomsday gets killed. Steppenwolf shows up to destroy the world. They revive Superman. Superman fights Justice League, remembers himself... They destroy Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf, and now what? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and then another thing, too, and this, these are my closing remarks, too, with this, is everyone's like, oh, my gosh, did you see the Joker card in in this? Did you see the Joker card in the, the Snyder Cut thing? Did you see this? Did you see that? My problem with that is, and 
and and I crucify find me if you will. Like the only comparison I'll do with Marvel and DC is when Marvel dropped Easter eggs, it means they're gonna they're setting up for something in a movie or two. Yeah. With with the DCEU, they don't there's no payoff with their Easter eggs. No, I mean the perfect example of that is Christian Bale's Batman when they talk about Robin. Um, when what's his name? Don't bring that up because that that's that's so inaccurate. It's right, it's, but regardless, that was their hint. That was they threw that in as an Easter egg, and it didn't go anywhere. Well, that's because they only did three movies. Like they, I'm sure Christopher Nolan just threw that in there. He's like, well, let's make them think we're gonna come back for something. But th- that goes right with the point. But yeah, it just it, they, it, there was no payoff. There was like, no yeah, payoff for it. Yeah, just because I'm a, I'm a I'm a Bat Bell fanboy, I can't can't have those rose colored sangla- sunglasses on for everything. But yeah, there was no payoff there. And it's just like, like, yeah, like, you know, with, again, going back to like in Suicide Squad, they say Harley killed, Harley killed Robin. Mm-hmm. They say, you know, they have the, the Robin suit with all the stuff on it. it says you killed your family, whatever. They show that in Dawn of Justice. They don't go anywhere with that. So I want to imagine they'll go anywhere with any of the little tiny hints in, in, in the Snyder cut stuff. You know, everyone's like, oh, it's this, that, this, that. I'm like. Go in with like I, I I like when I saw it I was like I want to see something that's gonna make me interested and want to see where this goes not something that's gonna be like oh crap Doomsday that's cool it's like yeah or um or Dark Side you can put Dark Side in there but why there's plenty there's enough if you go back and watch the Justice League TV show you can see that there's plenty of other little things that they do that you could make movies out of mm-hmm. but still. You could give each person one or two movies and even characters that you don't think that people would care about, but they do like if you like Legends of Tomorrow is goofy and as corny as it is. I love that show. White Canary, Black Canary, you know, uh, uh, Heat Wave, Mr. Freeze. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, it's not Captain Mr. Freeze, Captain Cold. That's what he is. Captain Cold. Uh, uh, I think they go with Vixen in there. I can't remember. Oh, and, uh, 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 what's his freaking name? Uh, Firestorm. Oh, yeah. They, they, there's so many other characters, like, I, I, what, coming in, I was like, I don't care about these people, but then watching the TV show, getting in, in, invested and stuff, it's like, oh, I do care about these smaller people, no pun intended for, for Adam, but it's like, I do care about these people, and... We could, you know, you could push those people. Like, even if we got, obviously, with its canon, that there are, like, Batman has his Robin. He has, obviously, he has Jason Todd. Where's Jason Todd? What's going on? Because if you're going the ro- road of Jason Todd, sorry, but he comes back in, in under the Red Hood. It's the Lazarus Pit, stuff like that. That's the road you're going to take. You got to go the road of the, the League of Assassins mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You got to have payoff with stuff. Um... And then it comes to also the thing that they don't follow through with stuff with the DC streaming service. Obviously, Titans, to, like, growing up watching Teen Titans, this t- it, it, I, it's a disaster for me, personally. I'm not going to try to make sense of everything that's going on in there. But I heard a lot of people love the Swamp Thing show, and they've axed it. Is it on the DC streaming? I think so. I might have to download the DC streaming and just binge watch the crap out of some DC stuff. Get some backstory on some things because I know that there's an animated Harley Quinn show on there that it's, I've like been being advertised down my throat. Mm-hmm. That looks good. Um, I actually did like Teen Titans, so I wanted to see where it went because I wasn't able to finish it when I did watch a little bit of it. The Swamp Thing did look good. He was also really fun to play in Injustice. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think that I do want to go into DC streaming and see if I can get a lot more backstory on a few different characters and things, but. Yeah, that that sucks that they're canceling DC or the Swamp Thing already. I mean, it's what been one season, if even that. But yeah, like it's just, it's just stick to your guns. Show that you care. Like, like pick something and stick with it for more than just a little bit. Like that's the way Marvel's been so successful. Um, great casting and sticking to what they have because something might suck in the beginning, but the only way you're gonna make it better is if you continue to build on it. Like, and that, that's the thing too with, 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 uh, with me, like, or not with me, with, uh, well, I, I kind of forgot where I was going, but the whole with Jared Leto, I know a lot of people hated him. 
I, I, I was telling Eddie and our other buddy last night, if they wouldn't have made him so methy, like have his his mannerisms would just be so like drunk, drugged out and stuff like that, and just have a demeanor of like a mob boss. I love the mob boss Joker vibe that I've seen in fan films and in, in comics and stuff. But when he's actually torturing people and doing his thing, that's when the craziness like pops out and stuff. I didn't hate Jared Leto's Joker. If they would have stuck with him and had him be the established Joker, I don't think there would have been a problem there. Like, you would have had more Batman stuff. But again, another thing is they're relying way too much on Joker. Mm-hmm. Way too much. Batman has plenty of other plenty main of villains. other main villains that you could go off of. I'm not even to name them off because everybody already knows there's a ton. The big one I would love to have seen is Roz. Like, obviously, we know in Batman Begins, we already got a Roz. But after seeing them dive into that with Arrow, mm-hmm. I would love to see that. Even the thing of Damian Wayne, or give us a proper Talia. Yeah. Like, oh, man. Deathstroke. Death, Deathstroke. They teased Deathstroke at the end of Dawn of Justice, and that never went anywhere. Yep. That's another one of those payoffs that never came out. Exactly. You know, Deathstroke. Uh... Oh, hi, there's another person over there. Uh, Deathstroke, uh, you know, Two-Face, Penguin. Obviously, we're getting Riddler with with uh, with Robert Pattinson. Um, you know, Clayface. There's just so many other... Bane, a proper good freaking Bane. You know, there's so many other good villains that Batman has. They're just relying on Joker way too much because that's the cash cow for them. Mm-hmm. They know, oh, it's easy to just put in Joker and everyone's going to want to know what's going on with their Joker because of Heath Ledger, the heat behind Heath Ledger. Like, no one cared about the Joker up until Heath Ledger, you know, at least in movies, until Heath Ledger did something. You're not wrong. Like, Jack Nicholson was the Joker, you know, Mark Hamill was voicing him, but once Heath Ledger's Joker came out, that's when everyone's like, okay, he's the bar. We just want to see people try to reach that. And that is never going to be reachable because... Again, Heath Ledger's Joker is his Joker. Joaquin Phoenix is his Joker. Um, so I really wish that Jared Leto would have gotten like a, another proper fair shake, but it is what it is, and I wish that they would come up with something more unique than having to rehash the whole Joker thing. Yeah. Um, but anything else you want to add, Eddie? No, I mean, you hit pretty much on the nail about the Joker situation. Yeah, but... Sorry I was steamrolling this, it's just... It's just like seeing the video game stuff. It 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 got me amped. It got me it got me psyched. I'm stoked. The movies, the Batman. I'm looking forward to Wonder Woman. I'm looking forward to uh, Suicide Squad. I'm gonna keep my eyes out. Black Adam. I don't know. I never saw Shazam, but I'll I'll see it if it if it comes out. Who knows with movies nowadays? Mm-hmm. Um, just the Snyder Cut. I don't. I'm not trying to buy HBO Max or whatever it's called just to watch the Snyder Cut. Oh, I thought they were coming out with it on DVD, too. Nope, it's only on HBO Max. That's dumb. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that'll, that I guess I'll do it for this rant cast again. Sorry I was steamrolling with you guys. Oh, no, not I, at all. <laughs> I just, a lot, of, a lot of fiery emotions. But, yeah, this one, this one was fun to do. We got, we'll be doing a Star Wars one soon, another Star Wars one, I think one or two of them. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> DC, fix your stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace. See ya.